YouTubies. Today, I am here today to do a response video. Okay, the video I am responding to is from Beautiful Brown Baby Doll. I believe that is her name. Um, I will post the video in the description box below. But it's called You're Dying But Your Hair Looks Amazing. And basically, her video was talking about how black women love to look great on the outside. What we wear, if our toes, if our nails are done. Um, shoes right, if our hair is right, makeup is right. We love to look great on the outside, but we do not really care about how our health really is on the inside and what we're putting in our body and things like that. I wanted to do a response video to this video because it's so true. And um, lately I've really been into health and my health and stuff like that. So I just wanted to give my opinion, views, stuff like that. Maybe give some tips, maybe to help someone. Okay. So first, I would like to start off with the basics. Um, some statistics for you guys. And I'm looking off a paper right now. I printed off some statistics so that I can read them to you guys so you guys can know about, you know, what she was really talking about in this video. Okay? African American women have the highest rates of being overweight or obese compared to other groups in the U.S. About four out of five African American women are overweight or obese. Um... What I have to put into that um, is we are known as to be thicker and a little more heavier. And that's fine. Long as you're healthy. But we have taken this whole thick thing to a different level. Females with like whose bodies are just completely out of whack are saying they're thick. And it's, it's not true. And I'm not trying to be mean to anyone. And I'm not knocking anybody who's obese or anything like that. But I'm saying... You guys have to get it together for yourself. Um, okay. In 2010, African Americans were one and a half times more likely to be obese than whites. Um, people who are overweight are more likely to suffer from high pressure, high levels of blood fats, and LDL cholesterol, all factors of heart disease and stroke. Um... Deaths from heart disease and stroke are almost twice the rate for African Americans as compared to whites. And I would like to say the three most things that black women die from is stroke, heart disease, and cancer. Um, that's really um, all the facts that I really mainly want to share. And I know, you know, it's the video was also about hair and I put out health facts. I would like to also say that your health is your hair. You can put all the moisture products you want, all the shine products, all the hot oil trimmings you want in your hair, but it does not mean the hair that's growing out of your scalp is completely healthy. Of course, it's very hard to be completely healthy, but you can try your best to be as healthy as possible. And black women, we do not do that. Um, so, I would like to say, um, I would like to give you guys some tips and things like that first, and then I'll share my opinion in my health exactly um things that affect your hair growth um anemic which can be um iron deficiency and things like that um smoking effect affects your hair and affects your health um high fat high sugar high salt high animal protein diets can affect your hair um stress can affect your hair also um Medicines that you take um, for certain things like high blood pressure or blood thinners can affect your hair. Um, also, another thing that can affect your hair is um, conditions within your body like um, thyroid issues, Crohn's disease, things like that. And um, yeah, everything you do on a daily basis, it affects your hair. And as I said, everything you do to try to make your hair seem as perfect as possible... You can try all the things you want, but it does not mean that it's completely healthy. Um, we have to notice we need to go beyond the getting um, silk pillows to make sure our hair is right. And we need to go beyond putting oil at the ends to moisture and seal them. We have to go beyond that. It's what you put in your body that's really important. Um, I have 10 healthy hair foods that I found, and I'll share them with you guys. And just think about when I read these things off, do you eat these things? And think about the health of your hair. Okay. 
The number one um, hair food is salmon. It has B12 in it. The omega-3 fatty um, acids are in it. Um, the other healthy hair foods are dark green vegetables like spinach, lettuce, and things like that. Beans, nuts like walnuts, peanuts, um, pecans, things like that. Poultry, eggs. Eggs are very good. Um, for your hair, that is why people do egg protein treatments because it has protein. You have to also think about the protein that you put inside of your body because that goes through your scalp. Once again, you can coach your hair with whatever you want. It does not mean that it's going to make it that healthy. It's what you put inside. Whole grains, oysters, low-fat dairy products, and carrots. All of those things are good healthy hair foods to eat. <laughs> um... So yeah, also another thing that helps with your hair is exercising. Exercising increases blood circulation, which that gets these nutrients to your hair. Um, your hair is not one of the main things, the main focus of your blood. Um, when you eat things and your nutrients like iron, salt, and all those things go in your body, it does not automatically go to your hair because your hair isn't that important. It goes to your muscles and things like that, things that are important. And um, the more that you eat or the more that you satisfy for what you actually need is the more that can also go down to your hair. Um, so exercising is very good to your hair. And I know a lot of women are like, oh my God, I don't want to do that. It sweats out my hair. Okay, you'll be exercising when you go to the doctor. <laughs> and you don't want to wait till it's that late. Do it now. Um, I guess I can now talk about... Um, my health issues and um, how it affects my hair. Uh, a year ago, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Um, I went to the doctors and check up, and when they do this to your neck, they're checking for lumps on your neck. And I had one, and I just went in. Sometimes it can be a problem, sometimes they can't. Um, but so I went in for that. He said, Oh, it's a lump, we're just going to check it. Nobody really thought any suspicion of it, but that's what it turned out to be. I got it removed. Um, I had a thyroidectomy which I will make a video about my life after that and um I got that taken out and all I have is one pair of thyroid now I usually have thyroid and two pair of thyroids I only have one now because that one was untouched by the cancer and so um if I didn't have that I would probably have to take calcium every day but that's another video and I'll do that on that but when I was um all through since sixth grade my hair began to thin and I would have patches in my head, and we never really knew why. I went to a, um, I went to a dermatologist and everything for it, and nothing really worked. And I thought it was because I um, was getting perm, so I stopped and I went natural. So that's one of the reasons why I went natural. And they still appear. Um, I still do have a few around my head right now, and um, it isn't bad. I can see that it's attempting to grow back. But that shows you that thyroid problems affect your hair also. So you need to keep up with your health. Um, a lot of black um, women and blacks in general do not go to the doctor a lot. They do not keep up with their health. Um, so you want to keep up with that. Um, and since then I've been eating more healthier. I drink, I drink a whole bunch of more water than usual. I used to never drink water. I don't like water. I think it's nasty for some reason. It's water is tasteless, I know, but I can't stand it. But I have started to drink more and... I have the little junior bottles. My mom gets me these because she knows that I actually will drink these small ones because if you give me a big one, I'll let it go to waste. But I actually drink that little one. And um, I believe the average person needs 72 ounces a day of water. And think about it. This right here is 8 ounces. Like really, do you, do you drink that much water? Um, do you eat the foods that were on the healthy hair foods list? Think about it. Do you exercise? Everything like that. It goes to your hair. No matter how much you dress your hair up, it does not mean that it's healthy. Black women, we have to open our eyes. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, diabetes runs in my family. This runs in my family. There's a lot of things you can do to help it. And I don't see a lot of people trying to change that. I see people still eating the fried foods and everything like that. And yet, yeah, it's good once in a while. And I know it tastes good, but you know, that taste will send you on to your grave early and you answer the question if that's so what you want. So that is the end of my so. video. I hope that I can help someone out. Um, if you have any questions, um, 
anything that you know about this subject, anything you like to throw in, or just anything to start a discussion, um, just comment below. And yeah, as I said, I hope I can help out someone. And um, I know that losing weight is not the easiest thing. Quitting smoking is not the best, easiest thing. But these things are better for you. And so um, I hope everyone a healthy change in their life. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching comment like subscribe and whatever else see you guys later